This is News Today. Sawadee Ka. Land encroachment is in the news again with recent visits by district officers to suspect patches of land around the island. A large steep piece of land in Kamala across the road from Lam Singh Beach has been visited by officials after a complaint that it was too steep to be in a private hands and was possibly in a forestry reserve. The vice governor was involved in the inspection noting that the land is very steep and the vegetation and topsoil have been removed. Whenever it rains it's very dangerous because of the possibility of landslides. He said that an official from the Phuket Office of Natural Resources and Environment had already surveyed the land and proved that it's too steep to build on legally. In Thailand, land steeper than 21 degree incline can't be built on. But in this case, the land looks like it's been cleared in preparation for development. The Deputy Minister of Public Health has paid a high-profile visit to the public market on Renong Road, Phuket Town. It's all part of the government highlighting the need for markets in Thailand to be up to scratch before the advent of the ASEAN Economic Community at the end of 2015. The health officials tested the water in seafood trays in the market for preservatives and other chemicals as they do every year. Luckily for us, they declared that vendors in the market had passed the tests. But less reassuring, the health officials checked for formaldehyde, sodium hydrosulfite and other preservatives that may have harmful side effects. Borax used to give meatballs a more rubbery texture and salbutamol, which is used to make meat look more red. Lucky that story's over. But the person responsible for the Phuket boat, which sank and leaked 10,000 litres of fuel, five times more fuel than originally thought, will probably face charges. Whilst investigations continue into exactly who's responsible and who owns the boat, the Phuket Marine Office were quick to mop up the leaked fuel to avoid any further damage to the environment. Although the cleanup did take three days, Originally, it was thought that 2,000 litres had been leaked. That number has been revised to 10,000 litres since the investigations continued. Apart from a few crabs covered in fuel, no other specific marine life appears to be in danger from the spill. The island surrounded by water and collects huge volumes of monsoonal rain each year, but water storage is an ongoing issue for Phuket. The Deputy Mayor of Phuket City says the island will be able to cope even if there's no rain soon and has a plan in place to solve any shortages. Water shortages are being faced head-on with work being carried out by the Royal Irrigation Department in Sueng Luang. You can always go to the phuketnews.com forward slash TV and find out everything you need to know about our programs. Like us on our Facebook page and join the conversation. Thanks for watching.